making sure that you're in a completely comfortable position. Whether you're seated, whether you're laying down, the entire body feeling supported, comfortable, warm, happy. I want you to begin to follow your breath. Each breath allowing you to relax and let go. And any thoughts that want to come join you, acknowledge them, tell them you'll catch up with them later. And simply turn your focus back to your breath. With each inhale, I want you to breathe in lightness. And with each exhale, I want you to feel the body sinking deeper, deeper into the earth, deeper into your mat, deeper into your chair. Breathing and healing. Exhaling, feeling the body getting heavier, heavier. And as the body gets heavier, the muscles relax, release, and let go. Breathing in balance. Exhaling, allowing the body again to grow heavier and heavier. Feel the heaviness of the legs, the hips. Feel the heaviness of the back, the shoulders, and the arms. Feeling the heaviness even of the head, the whole body being granted permission by you to let go. Inhaling peace. Exhale, go deeper. Relax the muscles in the face. Inhaling peace. Exhale, go deeper. You are in a completely safe space and you are free to let go as deeply as you so choose. Inhaling peace. Exhaling, going deeper. I want you to imagine that you're standing on the edge of where a forest begins. And just before you, there's a pathway into the forest. Where you're standing is in the bright sunlight you can feel the mesmerizing warmth of the sun's rays on your shoulders, the top of your head. It feels amazing. It feels like the muscles just want to melt underneath that warmth, like a fabulous massage. And as you peer into this entrance to the forest, I want you to notice the stark contrast of the brightness where you're standing and the shadows on the path. The tall trees are blocking the sun and you can see that the path that you're, you're about to move forward on is in the shadows. I want you to see yourself taking a deep, peaceful breath. Uh, and as you exhale, begin to move one foot in front of another on that fabulous path that takes you right into the entrance of this forest. I want you to immediately notice the coolness that embraces you. It's not too cold. It actually feels just right, even though you enjoyed the warmth. And I want you to look up toward all of the the leaves above you, perhaps the fir branches, and just notice how 
the sun gently cascades through little spaces between the leaves. You might even allow your gaze to drop all the way down to the path in front of you to see the sunlight dancing in patterns before your feet. You feel very content here. You feel like you're in a familiar place and you somehow feel compelled to move deeper into the forest on this path. So placing one foot consciously in front of the other, hearing the crackle of branches underneath your feet, perhaps of mulch, maybe you're stepping on acorns, but you really hear that, immerse yourself in this forest. What else can you hear as you walk along the path? I want you to imagine that you can hear the scampering of little feet, squirrels running around playing, looking for those acorns that perhaps you just stepped on, maybe chipmunks, chipmunks darting across your path. Can you hear the birds up above? What do they sound like? you continue to walk along this path. And the further you go, the more relaxed you feel, the more at peace, the more balanced. I want you to begin to see yourself reaching out and touching things. I want you to touch tree bark, feel the roughness under your fingers. I want you to touch flower petals and feel their softness. I don't know, maybe one of the chipmunks is friendly and will come up to you and allow you to pet its soft fur. Perhaps you pick up a rock on your path and feel its edges. Take a moment and feel your way around. on the path, going deeper and deeper into the forest. And I want you to notice that a little ways ahead, this path is going to curve to the right. And as you get closer to that bend in your path, you begin to hear a trickle of water. And it sounds so peaceful, but you know, the sound of water is so cleansing, and nourishing, restorative, refreshing. And as you go around the bend, that sound gets a little louder with each step. A little louder, a little louder. Until you suddenly notice that further along this path, you can see this really interesting wooden bridge up ahead. That wooden bridge is spanning a creek that has kind of a fast pace to it. I want you to make your way up to that bridge. When you get to it, I want you to really feel the rails under your hands. Is the wood smooth, worn down from touch? Is it warm? Is the sun shining on that part of the bridge? Is the bridge dry? Is it wet? Noticing everything, taking all the details. And when you're ready, step up onto that bridge and walk up to the halfway point.
when you get to that halfway point, I want you to turn in the direction that the water is flowing. So if you were to look down over the bridge, the water's moving under and away from you. I want you to watch the water for a moment. Notice that it's not a clear path. There are obstacles in the way, there are challenges. There are big rocks that the water is moving around. Perhaps there are tree branches in the water that it's going over or under or around. We all have those challenges, but I want you to notice how the water flows around these challenges easily. It morphs, it changes. And then I want you to look further ahead till you can no longer see where the water ends up. But I want you to feel in your heart space, the water always knows where it's going. It is held safely. It is nurtured by the confines of the shore. That water always knows where it's going. It has an intention. I want you to look down at your feet on the bridge because to your right, there's a pile of leaves. And I want you to reach down and I want you to pick up 10 of those leaves. that the water's flowing, holding 10 leaves. I want you to take the leaves in your left hand and pull one leaf out with your right. And to this leaf that you're holding, I want you to attach a worry, a concern, a stressor, a trigger, it could be a person, an experience, a memory, situation. Attach something to that leaf that's been nagging at you. And then take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to drop that leaf over the edge of the bridge and watch it meander its way down until it lands in the water and is whisked away. Watch it, watch it until it goes out of sight. And then at that moment, I want you to feel this sense of lightness. Like we just made a little bit of room, some space for something new. All right, pull leaf number two out of your hand. And hang on to it. Again, attaching something you're ready to let go of to this leaf. And then take a deep inhale. And again, as you exhale, allow that leaf to fall all the way down into the dancing water, that cleansing, nourishing water that's going to whisk it away from you and allow you to let go. You have eight more leaves in your hand. I want you to go through each leaf and attach something that you want to get rid of today. And that doesn't necessarily mean it won't come back tomorrow, but you can always come back to your bridge and let it go again. If you find you don't need a finish, dump the rest over the bridge into the water. And, contrarily, if you find you need more leaves, that pile is still there by your right foot. So go ahead. 
and let it all go. are finished, I want you to feel the sun again shining down upon your shoulders, your face, the top of your head. I want you to take a deep breath in, a breath that you've never felt so deeply before because you were hanging on to all this stuff. Feel how free it is and let that exhale go. A smile comes to your face. Breathe in peace. Breathe in balance. Breathe in self-love. Breathe in healing in whatever capacity you need it. And then, just breathe in. I want you to turn in the direction from which you came and begin to walk back off of that bridge. And you can turn around to look at it one more time, to say thank you. Thank you to the bridge, to the leaves, to the water, the creek below. And know that this is a place that you can always come back to in your mind. To let go of more. There will always be a pile of leaves waiting just for you. Begin to place one foot consciously in front of the other making your way back along the path, listening to the crunch underneath your shoes, the birds above. Up ahead, the path is gonna to turn to the left. Gently follow the bend. Each step bringing you closer and closer to the sunlight and the exit of the forest. 
In fact, probably right now, you can look ahead and see that light. Each foot consciously stepping towards the exit to the forest. Each step bringing you back to the present. The forest will begin to disappear behind you as you make your way out into the sun. I want you to gently lift your gaze to that warmth and breathe it in. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to allow that picture in your mind to disappear. Coming back to the feeling of your body, either lying on the floor, or seated in a chair. I want you to allow some movement to come back into the fingers. And most certainly, the body is feeling a little bit heavy, maybe even unwilling to move. That's okay. Breathe in lightness. Breathe in lightness and movement in the fingers. And then allow your hands to be still, shifting the movement down into the feet. Letting the toes wiggle, the ankles perhaps to rotate or flex. Deepening the breath. And then bring the stillness back into the feet. I want you to go ahead and stretch the arms wherever they want to go, whether it's up to the sides, overhead, really reach, breathing in energy, restoration, feeling alive. Deep inhale. As you exhale, release the arms. Take another deep breath in. This time I want you to hold it. You're ready. Big cleansing exhale through the mouth. And then taking your hands to lay across your heart. I want you to offer yourself some kind words of gratitude for taking the time to go on this journey. and let it go. The light in me bows to the light in you. And when I'm in that place in me and you're in that place in you, then we become one. 